guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I will be doing a review and also make a comparison on this beautiful Hutton shoulder bag so in my previous videos I did an unboxing on this Hutton bag and I was so disappointed for the reason that the bag itself is stiff I mean the color is amazingly beautiful it's amazingly beautiful the green color is so lovely so classy and the material that they use the website actually described this one as a polished leather high gloss finish so I was thinking like so what is a polished leather so a polished leather known as the polished binder or book binder leather has a fine top coat often as acrylic resins and or parmesans added to the leather to give highly polished appearance so that is a polished leather so anyway so let me start with the measurement first so on my left on my left hand corner this is the Riley 18 and on the further right that is the Riley 22 and the Hutton shoulder bag so the Riley 18 measures seven inches in length five inches in height and three and one fourth it's with on its width so now we have the Riley 22 so the Riley 22 measures eight and three fourth in length six and a half on a height and two three and three fourth on its width and now the Hudson measures eight and a half on its length six and a half on height and the width is two and one fourth so by looking at it uh, by looking at it it just seems to look like the Hudson seems to look bigger though but I know that uh, the Riley 22 is so much bigger just a tad bit f between on all uh, with the Hutton so anyway going back to the Hutton shoulder bag so so guys look at the chain strap the chain strap is so gorgeous I love the chain strap on this the brass hardware actually complements nicely on the color which is in dark green really really nice it has like more of like a marbled something like that like it's not like plain green but it has a little bit of like a like a marbled something like that it's just so hard to explain with the color so this one I just touched this one today and it already started to show some fingerprints and yeah it's it's so strange okay so let's see what fits inside so yeah this is my dilemma this is the issues that I actually that I was telling on my unboxing that this bag is stiff I mean it's just the leather itself it's like I don't know it's just it totally bothers me regardless of how pretty the purse is but the <laughs> but the but the flap is so stiff and definitely that's the de deal breaker uh, for me personally and looking at the inside the inside this one here it has a pocket but it's stiff it's so stiff 
and it has a large pocket as well but it's not flexible at all so i don't know it's just like to me it feels cheap really it's like i am actually it's like it feels like it's plastic though i mean why would i have to really why would i even have to struggle in opening this um this purse like that but i don't know in my personal my personal opinion my personal thought would have been it feels cheap really i mean the stitching is lovely i mean this bag is very well crafted i didn't see any issues when it comes to the stitching as well but only the issues that i have it is stiff <laughs> so it has a box back pocket here and also let me see what fits inside let me just try to put my phone so this is a seven plus phone it fits in the front pocket and then i have a mini pochette i um let me just try to put this one inside yeah it's just like it it just bothers me the the flap definitely bothers me the flap it's like, okay, so let me just put this uh, card key holder in here. Yeah, so that's pretty much how it looks inside. And it looks like it's already been full. You could probably put something here on top. But the reason why I'm doing this is just to show you um, the, uh, that the leather is not flexible at all it's just I, I don't know how this um leather would hold up in time maybe this will soften in time but my first impression is totally like i i didn't really like it at all and also the inside here the inside lining is really nice like a microfiber lining really soft that's a plus and just close like that yeah I think it's perfect okay so now I have a special participation here from my Riley from the Riley 18 and the Riley 22 looking at this let me just move some of this purse here so we can see all of it okay so this is the Riley 18 as you can see, this is in the peacock blue. I love it. The color is stunningly beautiful. Very nice. And this is made up of gloved and leather. It has a brass hardware as well. When I open this, soft. Just like that. Yeah, like that. It has a really nice... Uh, feel to it like oh uh, it's just like the leather is very soft it has a very rich glove ton leather but when we look at the accordion pockets here it's flexible it's really flexible inside as a matter of fact when i touch this it's really soft really really soft i love it um i don't think i have pro issues or any problems with this but that one is so stiff. It's like everything is like snug at all. I mean, I don't know. This one is actually lined with leather. Really nice. But the inside is a textile lining, which is which I don't mind. Really nice. So this one has three large pockets inside. And this could fit a ton, a ton, a ton of things. So let me just show you a 7 Plus if this would fit on the Riley 18. I mean, this is a really tiny bag, guys. So the length is like, yeah, seven inches. So let me see if this one would fit in. Yeah, it could fit inside, but it's really snug. But yeah, and you could just take it out like this. Yeah, this is it's snug but it fits inside you could still put a lot of stuff inside because this bag is flexible okay so moving on 
I'm going to show you the Riley 22. So the Riley 22 is, uh, I have this one in color block. So as we all know, the color black comes with variations of colors. This one is sand taupe. This was is in chalk. And also, oh, uh, it has a black trim in it. Beautiful. The handle is amazingly beautiful in this. Such a really glassy and really beautiful purse. And this one has a brass hardware. I love the combination of the brass and with this neutral colors. And this one is also made up of a gloved and leather. So since this is the largest uh, purse among the three, so yeah, you could just easily put the phone right in front. No problems at all. I just stuff this bag. I always stuff them. So yeah, no problem. You could put you could put anything in here and knowing that this is the largest phone that I have right now, it could fit easily, perfectly. And the inside is really flexible. It's lined with gloved and leather as well. It is soft beautiful 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 purse i would definitely gonna recommend the riley guys the riley is awesome beautiful bag such a beauty so anyway so yeah i mean i can compare this to the hutton shoulder bag i was so disappointed and also uh this one comes with a removable chain strap uh, it's a strap that is actually a combination of leather and a chain, uh, gold hardware, and also this both has those removable straps. And um, the only downside on the other one with this Hutton is that the strap here is permanently attached. You can't really, yeah, you can't really adjust it. And you could just, you can double it, but you can't adjust at all. And yeah, I just, look at the strap, it's so beautiful. The strap for this one, the chain strap is so beautiful and it's lightweight as well. Those links are very, very light, I love it. So that is the only downside for the Hutton. So yeah. I will be returning this and I'm sorry but I could not recommend it the color is absolutely beautiful absolutely amazing looking at those three colors right there comparing those three lovely colors they are beautiful gorgeous colors amazing but this one yeah it every each of these has its own character though but this one is is i mean i don't know i can't really pick any of these three, three of which one is the really i mean i don't know all these three are beautiful or gorgeous if i were to pick one i don't know i don't think i'll be able to pick one based on the colors but based on its practicality based on its um this one is such a beautiful purse as well because you could put a lot in here and if you love organization this is the perfect purse for you look at those um uh, pockets right there my gosh for perfect for organization and also this Riley 18 as well look at that so perfect and also with this one it's just there's two but it's stiff it's like I didn't really like it the touch of uh, when I touch the leather it does not feel luxurious at all it's just like I don't know there's just there's just something wrong with it well that is just my personal instinct saying that this is not the right uh purse for me because of i mean i don't know like the moment i touch this the gloved and leather it's just like oh wow it feels great 
it feels great it has this luxurious feel to it and yeah i love it you know and but this one seems like mm, i don't think so unfortunately but anyway so this is just um a little bit of my comparison on the type of leather so this are made up of gloved and leather and this one is polished leather and i prefer to use the gloved and leather among any other leather as well and also i also like um the grain leather as well pebbled leather they're also nice as well but with polished leather i'm not really sure about that but all the couches that I have, I have it in pebbled. I also I love it in gloved. I have it in gloved and gloved and leather, and I am loving each of my purses. Beautiful. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.